Alrighty, another video on the headaches of owning a 2006 Ram 2500 diesel. I don't know if this is to all just diesels, but I'm uh, got my transfer case lever here, and yeah. So why would it be doing that? Well, apparently this is a huge, huge issue with these. Dodges. I was out in the woods in four-wheel drive, came back, put it in two-wheel drive, and drove home. And then I hit it, and it just went droop. And I'm like, what the heck? Well, come down under the truck here. There it is. And there's the other part right there. So you don't have to take your drive shaft off, but I just took it off to make it easy to see. And then what you're going to need to do is order... came in today from the Jeep. I don't know if you guys can get those numbers or not. I know this camera sucks on numbers. This is the transfer case linkage. And then you're going to need two bushings. So what happens is, from what I understand is, um, I think it's the bushing back there that rots out and then the linkage falls down and it hangs and then it, it bangs and bangs and then it just wears out this bushing and then so, that is an expensive $50 little four-wheel drive jaunt. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in here and fix this problem. Alright, I got the two bushings out. There is a flat side and there is a concave side. I'm going to push the concave side in and then it's going to end up sitting with the flat side on the outside of the vehicle here. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct way to do it or not, if somebody knows just put it in the notes so that the rest of these people that are trying to do this will get the right way. But I'm just going to basically put that in there. Is it going to stay? Now, I'm going to get myself a pair of channel locks and just squeeze that puppy in there. So basically what I did is I put the top of the bushing in, grabbed my channel locks, and then just came over here and just squeezed the bottom in. And it literally went in in five seconds. So there's the uh, bushing on that side. And I'll put the bushing in the back side next. Okay, on the back one, I did it with my hands. I didn't even use the channel locks, but I did it from this side and just pushed it out toward the drive shaft. And that one went in, and then this one went in the other way, going in toward the transfer case. And then the linkage. Oh goes with the bent angle back there and then the slide part goes up here and I got a wasp the size of a silver dollar flying around down here I don't know how much longer I'm gonna hang out well, I got the one side in and then my freaking buddy came over here so now I've got the wasp and hornet killer because he is pissing me off well let me put the back side in I must have a nest up here or something so anywho so there's the front and that's still loose. And once I get the back side in, we can tighten that after we get the uh, fine tuning adjustment down. Okay, bushing orientation. I just had to take this one out. So there's a small hole and then there's a large hole. Didn't even notice it until just now. And the beveled side has the small hole. That's going to push in. Both are going to push in toward the transfer case unit. <laughs> And then when this goes in, that little piece is going to grab in there. Because I just called my mechanic and says there's supposed to be a C-clip or something on there. And you'd think it would be, but this bushing is what holds it. Now, if they would have pushed this through further and put a, an E-clip on it, that would have been perfect. But then this wouldn't have fallen off. And I wouldn't have spent $30 and been out here in the hot sun fighting wasps. <laughs> so, beveled side's going to go in, and uh, this was a real pain in the ass getting this one in, so I'm going to be out here fighting with this one for a few minutes. Actually, it went in real easy. What I did is I uh, folded it, pushed it halfway, squished it, pushed it in, let it expand, and it worked. <laughs> and then uh, the linkage is just going to go back, and... Um, 
push that in. There it is. Now I just need to go up here and find out where four wheel, actually it's in two wheel, put that in two wheel drive and then tighten it down. And we're done. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a zip tie and just zip tie that. I don't think I can get a zip tie around that one. But you know what? I'm not going to lose this thing again and cost myself another 40 freaking dollars for that stupid design. All right. Took about 20 minutes even with spraying the wasp down with Hornet spray. <laughs> easy job, easy fix. Just aggravating. I guess that's why this truck is such a fun joy to own. I gotta change the uh, fuel filter and water separator next week. That's gonna be fun. Easy, just expensive. <laughs>